Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. We're on Prince Edward Island in Canada. We're actually in Charlottetown, the capital of Prince Edward Island. Behind me you have the province house where the seeds of the Canadian nation kind of were planted. Anyway, what we have for you today are what you should see and do when you come to Prince Edward Island because it really is a fantastic place to visit. We've been here for about four days, have really enjoyed it. You know, like the people are fantastic, all kinds of great stuff, but we have a five love and hates video for that. What I want to go through today are just some of the things you should see and do when you're here. And so let's get started. Now the first thing you should do is one of the reasons why we actually came. My wife is a huge fan of Lucy Maud's, Lucy Maud Montgomery's Anne Shirley or Anne of Green Gables, which you might have read when you were a kid. Fantastic place. You can go out to the Green Gables, which inspired her to write her books. And then of course it's kind of over touristy in some respects. But what's cool is you can see the house that inspired her, the Lover's Lane and the Haunted Woods and stuff like that. And if you're coming up here and you're doing a drive, and it is a long drive from pretty much anywhere you come, throw the DVDs in of the movie they made of the book, this miniseries, and it gives the kids a good idea of what they should see. I know my seven-year-old was totally pumped to go to Green Gables because he's watched the whole Anne of Green Gables series multiple times. So he was like, oh yes! And even my little three-year-old, he was so embarrassed when he saw Anne because they have a lot of interpreters here. Um, and there was an Anne interpreter that was you know, being Anne Shirley and he was all shy and she's like, and so we had to go and say hi to her and it was really a cool thing and that's just it is the Green Gables really inspire the tourism industry here and for people to come here to Prince Edward Island and you really should go there because it is a nice little thing to see and of course right by there there are some of the tourist trappings you know you got your mini golf places and you've got your little you know bumper boats and go-karts and things like that also if you want you know some other things to do they actually have it's called Avonlea Village and they do a lot of like old time things like sack races and how to milk a cow and all these kind of things which is kind of cool for kids. It can be a little pricey if you go late. If you go like at noon they have lots of activities during the day which is really where, where kind of cool to do and the kids really enjoy it. I know ours did so go do that which is right by Green Gables and then of course you can go to the beach. There's a Cavendish Beach which is right there okay across, kind of right by Green Gables or you can go to the Prince Edward Island National Park which goes along the north part of the island there's all kinds of beaches and cliffs you can check out which is extremely cool and well worth doing and that's all in one little area by this town called Cavendish you can go to a nice little town to eat there and all kinds of stuff so that's kind of like the first area of stuff to do now the next thing you should do when you're here is go to some of the beaches around now I know I talked about Cavendish Beach but you can go to Basinhead Beach, which was voted the you know, best beach in North America, kind of the east side of the island, right near the east end. And when you go to the east end, what's cool is there's a lighthouse right on the edge, and you can see where the land is falling in. You're like, hmm, I wonder if I come next year if it's still going to be there. So that's kind of a cool thing to check out there. So go to east end, the Basinhead Beach, which is kind of a neat thing. Next thing you should do when you come here is you can come to Charlottetown, where we are now, and they do have the, you know, the province house where they, you know, Canada was 23 you know, kind of delegates came to start discussing what would eventually become Canada. And what's cool is they have the Charlottetown players kind of thing. They go around and they're interpreters and they'll give you a walking tour of the town to give you the history. Because that's what's crazy is, you know, you think of Prince Edward Island, oh, it's some beaches and there's green gables. No, there's a lot of history here as well. So get one of the walking tours with the interpreters around here. Very cool to do. You can also take, you know, the horse-drawn carriage ride if you like that. Also, if you want, you can go hire a boat or you can just take a normal boat tour of the harbor. They have two hour long trips, hour long trips. The sunset one, that's the one you really got to do. It's beautiful. And when you go around Charlottetown, I mean, this is the capital of you know Prince Edward Island. There are some historic homes. There's some nice things to do and eat here. You got to go to the Cow's Creamery, which is down at the harbor there. That's kind of the thing that everyone tells you you have to do and go eat there. There's lots of nice restaurants and bars here to check out as well. Now, remember, you only have kind of a short window of coming to Prince Edward Island. Basically, like May through September is when the weather is okay. Because winter time, the snow, they don't measure it in inches, they measure it in feet. So you want to make sure you get in this window. And of course, that means there's a lot of tourists here that come this time. So make sure you're booking ahead. Now, what else should we see when we're here? Now, if you're looking to do something at night, um, they actually have a drive-in here, the Buckley Drive-In. It's not, you know, they don't always show kids shows, but it is like the newest movies out there. So you can see the newest action so flick and Liam, stuff like that. So if you're here with your older kids, that's Good. something kind of fun to do. Is it yummy? And if it's the time of the year and there's actually you say a kids yummy? show, that's always really fun. They start about 8 o'clock at night. Well worth doing, so you have that. And another thing you should do is kind of explore around 
Prince Edward Island because you can drive all around the island. There's all kinds of little lanes and back rows and stuff like that. And sometimes you'll feel you're going to get lost, but it's an island. So you hit the coast, just turn one of the directions. Eventually you'll get back to Charlottetown. It's okay. No, but what's cool is you go around, you drive around, you see these little villages, these little harbors, tons of great little beaches. And the thing is, the water here isn't as cold as you're expecting, okay? It's actually warmer here than like in Maine. So you can get in the water. We spent all day today at the beach, okay? And it was fantastic. Just be careful on the North Beach and stuff. Sometimes there's jellyfish, so keep your kids, make sure they're watching for stuff. But still, it's fantastic to be here. Also, watch out for the red dirt because it will ruin your clothes. I've already been yelled at today because I let my kids and myself get into it. But anyway, I digress. But honestly, it's a fantastic place to go. Great food when you're here. You wanna have seafood. We had mussels today, lobster the day before. So really great seafood. And one of the things I like to drink when I'm here, one, yes, they have some good breweries here, like beer from here you can have. But what I like to have is the raspberry cordial, which is actually straight from the Anne of Green Gables books. And they actually sell it here. It's like a raspberry soda or raspberry pop. And it actually is really good. Anyway, there's tons of stuff to do and see here in Prince Edward Island. It's well worth checking out and all over Canada. And if you want to learn more, remember our five things you love and hate about PEI, five things you love and hate about coming to Canada, check us out at our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. And we really recommend you coming here. The people are fantastic. Lots of nice places to stay. If you can get a cottage to stay in, it's fantastic. But even if it's last minute, there's still lots of hotels and stuff like that too. So have a great time at Prince Edward Island. I hope you enjoy it. It is a fun place to be. Bye from the province house in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island in Canada. Bye.